Nestled in the Kootenays, Castlegar has for years relied on one company in particular, not only for many of its local jobs, but also for much of its tax revenues to pay for municipal services. Selgar has been that company, but now a depressed forest industry coupled with an economic recession has led the company to formally protest its property tax bill, which could be a huge blow to this town since it makes up 40% of its entire municipal budget. Well, it really affects the whole community. It really does. And uh, we're talking about health services. We're talking about fire, police, all those kinds of sewer water, all those kinds of things are all connected because it's, it's a huge amount of money. Selgar is now the third B.C. forest company to protest its tax bill. Catalyst and Timber West on Vancouver Island have also issued court challenges, complaining the property tax system as it applies to industry has become completely unfair and unworkable. The data would show that the residential rate is far lower than the industrial rate in industrial towns in B.C., and something needs to be done about that. Yeah. And John Allen says towns like Castlegar were warned some time ago about this looming problem, but took no steps to avoid what was coming. My view would be that uh, this involves uh, the provincial government, uh, local government, industry in the province, and some type of uh, new system or revised system needs to be seriously considered. Community and Rural Development Minister Bill Bennett says the government will not intervene here, but he says both sides seem to have sympathetic arguments. We are concerned uh, for the communities, but we're also concerned for the companies uh, uh, that they remain solvent and that they remain as, uh, as employers in all of these communities on Vancouver Island and up in the Kootenays and anywhere else in the province. Meanwhile, the people of Castlegar are caught in the middle of a dispute that pits their major economic lifeline against their own town, something that has everyone worried. We certainly want to try to keep them as happy as we can. You know, with the economic climate the way it is, I, I, whatever it takes. We know money's tight all over the place. We clearly understand that. But what we're looking for is how do we, how do we look at this thing and what the solution is. The court challenges by the companies are expected to be heard in August with a decision sometime in the fall.